two circles create the lens of the eye. <laughs> and that's where all the lectures are given from this area. And that's also where the foundation stone, the foundation stone is right there. And that's where the podium is. I thought that was really <laughs> But this circle here is a circle that is creating the lens. It does it isn't there. See how it isn't there. But I tried to find out what circle that was. And when I did, I found out yeah. So this, this, as far as sacred uh, architecture, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and I, but I also found out that this circle, which is the moon, and this circle, which is the earth, also squares the circle. And this, the moon, is right here. But you don't see the square. He didn't do it. He used another circle, which was early betting. He didn't use both, both uh, square and circle. He used all circles. OK. This last little one, and you guess what? The last little one is what this form is doing. Oh, this form is the Earth and the Sun. And this, Ooh, this is a lie, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> this one, come on, make room, you know? <laughs> this one, the Egyptians, huh? They had the sun also in the earth, but in circles. Okay. So here it is. That's this form. And when you take this out, or turn it over, there is this circle, which is four. This is four. And the outside is five. So, draw that for a minute. I put the form inside. It's the geometric form. Then I found out that this is also two circles. This is the Earth circle, this is the Sun circle. This is the circle, and the very This is all geometric, accurate, uh, there's no fantasy. This is what the four is indicating. When I put the four into this sphere, okay, this circle right here came because of how high it was. So the distance from here to here, okay, is coming from a form. Gertianum has no form. Gertianum is a roof with walls. Byzantine, there's no form. It's a roof with walls. Same with this one left at the top. But the Egyptians have a form. And they removed the sun. They have a form. There is no form in any of these. But there is an issue. This circle and the bottom one were indicated by the form itself. So, sun. Now, I found out that if I do a stellation, coming to the end here, and I'm also getting to the good part. If I do a stellation, which is this part, this guy right here. Oh, it is good. <laughs> if I do this part right here and add it, and then add this part to the form, I add these to these two forms, this is how the building comes out. Now, this is a stellation, and so is this. This makes exactly the size of a moon. So this building has the sun, the moon, and the earth because of the form itself. And now we have the Pythagorean triangle. Three, four, five. We have the five, the four, and the three. Now what I'm trying to do is to encourage you that you can't get stuck in this section. You need to develop this into something new. And you can do it just like I did. The form did it for me. I didn't do it. Here's another one where that spire will be all glass. This is stained glass. At the top of this form, 
there is a cut. And that cut casts a shadow on the bottom of the, of the form and you across. This is the first time that architecture has ever had inside a, a view of a spire. It's not expire now, it's inspire. <laughs> and of course, I had to make one that was fairly good size, and so I did. And if you look at it, you see the three crosses of the crucifixion. It's not coming from me, it's coming from this form. Now, in the middle of the form is a perfect six-pointed shape. That shape is an inverted dodecahedron. And it represents the zodiac, because I haven't finished all the glass, but this glass is all related to the zodiac according to Rudolf Steiner's colors. And they will be continued all the way around. Right here, there's a seven-pointed star. Right here is a six-pointed star. Right here is a five-pointed star. And this whole thing is seven. It has 12 edges, seven points. Now, I made a installation for to show how you work one part of it for either entrances or whatever. This is all stuff. This, this is a foam board, plaster pairs on it. Doesn't cost much money at all. It fits right up there. And then of course this is added on as an entrance. There could be three of these for uh, like a welder school. <laughs> why, why, why should we look like Denny's? <laughs> that if I extend from the middle of the cross to the middle of the triangle, which is over here, and I ran a wire through there, these were the shapes that came out. Another indication of where it would sit on whatever activity it's supposed to be. And when I extended that line from the middle of the cross to the middle of the triangle, made the six. And that's a cube. It's also a cube in the middle of this. Then I did the final installation, which is the inspire. I made it so it was all concrete, but this would be all stained glass. It would be all those glasses that they cut with uh, grinders. It fits right over here. <laughs> What's interesting, it's so balanced that I can almost leave it alone. And I mean, how do you balance a shape like that? <laughs> I, put, I put it there. Well, that's amazing that it will even come close to balancing. That's amazing. <laughs> this is the possibility of how to look at new buildings. So after Little Center's, you can burn it down. A new building was built, and from that point on, nothing. I need to move okay, into an other section with what he did. And this is my simple, humble way of maybe showing a way to inspire you to work on how a building can come about like this. One more thing. I'm going to show you the end of my research up to this day, not within a week my latest research up the week. And what I think it is, is I think it's the ultimate, it, it's, it's bringing everything together for seven years into one object. All of all of this comes into one object. And this object, uh, yeah, I just had it cast, it came from the foundry, it's almost still warm, you know, that's how it is. But it's the latest, and it's putting all my work together. 